Hey Gemini, what's up gang? I hope everybody is well. Let's go ahead and get into a what you need to know reading and we are going to look in the karma deck so hold on tight, okay? If that's something that interests you, go ahead and stick around. If you're new to this channel, Gemini, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's going to have any information that you would need to know and yes, this is a Gemini channel. It is though, okay? Uh, but if you vibe, you try. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. If you are returning, Gemini, whoa, welcome back. I hope that you're well. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. And I hope that you're doing what's best for you. Let's go ahead and get into this because uh, the cards are wanting to speak. All right. So what you need to know right now, your spiritual gifts are getting stronger as you delve deeper into your ancestral roots, not as you walk away from them. Okay. So there is some kind of energy of taking on the traditions of your family or your lineage of your ancestors, any customs, any rituals, um, spiritual beliefs that resonate within you your soul that you really feel aligned to there's something about you getting stronger when you delve into those your spiritual gifts peaking perhaps when you really connect with your ancestors okay so there is something about that energy here something about connecting with your ancestors on a deeper level and your spiritual gifts really getting stronger because of it okay getting that very strongly uh, 440 on the time so 44 which is a master number you could definitely be mastering some kind of level within your own life or within your spiritual ascension is what they're giving me they're giving me the energy of somebody who's climbing a spiritual ladder and you're getting just another step ahead okay so I don't know maybe you defeated something recently for me that usually happens after some kind of glow up um, or well before some kind of glow up I should say there's usually a battle Right, something that you have to let go, some kind of negative habit that you've been holding on to, or a negative person that's draining you, something like that. Okay, all right, so let's see, let's see what else we have here. What does Gemini need to know, Spirit? What does Gemini need to know? We have this whole situation. Okay, yes, situation has helped you grow because you chose to do the work. Yes, Gemini, 7:57 on the time. Okay, you chose to get uh, change through your spiritual lessons, through your spiritual drama. You, you chose to take on the challenges with that five that came towards you, that were definitely spiritually based. For some of you, you really are out here slaying demons, okay? Slaying these uh, negative energies that would love to reside within you, your family, friends. Like, I get that energy here, okay? Some of you def definitely went through a very dark situation, something that was full of just karma full of nastiness negativity um some of you possibly lost everything or lost people or things that were very significant very important to you some of you had people come in and take things or come in and hurt you i'm hearing taking innocence so maybe there was this energy of at one point you were really carefree and happy and were willing to give people and things chances and stuff like that and then somebody came in and really did a number on you and now you don't open up as easily okay um i feel like for those of you who aren't staying closed down for jaded reasons and more out of preservation right it's like you learn to not be so naive or you learn to not give it all up so easily or put it all out there like only with the people you feel comfortable with or only after people have proven that they deserve that energy from you gemini okay i'm getting that very very strongly but i feel like whatever situation you've been through whatever struggle whatever hard time even if you're currently still enduring it gemini it's helping you grow why because you're choosing to do the work you're not choosing to sit in the identity of victim right that could possibly get attached to you through this situation you have decided to instead go i'm not a victim shitty things happen to everybody it's time for me to pick up my pieces start over even if this is the third fourth time that you've started over gemini we can sit here and we can whine all day about how life's been cruel to us and it's not kind, or we can choose to do something about it. We can choose to say, well, I'm still here, so I need to keep going. And that's the energy that I'm getting from you. You're still here, so you need to keep going. This situation has helped you grow because you are choosing to do the work. And the closer that you get with your ancestors, the closer you get back to basics or you get back to source, you get back to that light that is aligned within you, Gemini, that's sooner that you're going to start feeling like your spiritual gifts are really peaking or getting stronger. Some of you already have very strong spiritual gifts. Some of you are already like at the level where you guide other people or you help other people, right? But 
you're you haven't hit your peak yet like you haven't hit your the top tier of what you can be yet okay so as long as we're still here as long as we're still here in this school of or this um yeah school of life i guess is what you would call it as long as we're still here in this school of life we're still learning nobody is ever done don't ever you know what i'm not gonna sit here and tell you who not to trust okay it's up to you you trust who the hell you're gonna trust but i personally would never trust somebody who tells me oh i'm done guys i'm done learning my lessons i'm just here to simply guide the unevolved that's the only reason i incarnated i've heard people say that before some of them, it, it hit harder than others. I was like, damn, I really like this person. I really admire this person, but I don't believe that. I just don't. It does not resonate with my soul. I feel like if you are here on this planet, you are still learning. You are still evolving. You are still growing. You are not perfect, and you are not done yet. Okay? Only Jesus is perfect, and I don't see him anywhere. Okay? I'm just saying. There's just this energy of like you know and even jesus wasn't perfect even my guides are like even jesus isn't perfect there is no such thing as perfection perfection is something that we kind of build up in our mind right but it's it's unachievable it's unrealistic because there's no such thing as perfection even in nature you you will see plants or animals that are born with flaws right so it's like you know searching for perfection is it's minute here anyways Let's go ahead and see what else we have here. Because this is looking like a pretty deep spiritual message. So, what does Gemini need to know? Um, something wanted to pop, but I don't know what it was. What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know currently? They're showing me a snow globe. Like one of those old snow globes that have like, you know, like winter houses and the snow around it and like the Santa Claus or something. So that might be significant for somebody. For some of you, that's where you're in right now. You're in this energy of living in a snow globe, okay? I don't know, of like a pro globe of protection. I don't know why I'm getting that for somebody. So you remove negative karma when you give back to those truly worthy wanting to come out. 456 on the time here Gemini okay so what this is saying is that you're learning boundaries you're learning self-worth here you're learning who to give to and who not to give to who to trust and who not to tr trust you remove negative karma when you give back to those who are truly worthy so for some of you perhaps there's this energy in your family line of over giving or needing to feel validated through somebody else needing you right like I feel important when I'm needed I feel important when I'm special uh, that made no sense. But I feel important when other people feel I'm special. When other people need me. When I can come in and Captain Save a Ho save the day, right? That makes me feel like I'm I'm of service. Because if I wasn't doing that, I'd feel like I was just a piece of shit that's taking up uh, space on this planet. Like there's nothing of value to me other than how I can help other people. That might be something that your family has dealt with. And this might have been something that was really instilled in their psychology through um, generations of servitude or slavery or not having a choice even if they weren't slaves maybe they didn't have a choice even if they were like royals or something a lot of royals don't really have the choice just saying okay so there's this energy here of like your family lineage or something going through this mindset of control and needing to break that needing to know that your energy is sacred. Your energy belongs to you. You don't have to give your energy to anybody that you don't fucking feel like giving your energy to, Gemini. Just in case you didn't know, right? You don't have to. But again, maybe your ancestors didn't have a choice or something, so there's something coming in with, or maybe this is something that you've played out in several lifetimes where you didn't have a choice. You were in slavery. You lived lives of serv servitude or of um, royalty or something where you didn't have a choice. There's just that energy here. You have a choice in this lifetime. You don't have to put up with people's bullshit. You don't have to give to people just because they feel, they feel or you feel like you owe them. People shouldn't be giving to receive. People should be giving because, see, that's where equal partnerships and, and equal equality in people comes in. This person shouldn't be giving to receive, but this shouldn't, this person shouldn't be taking to receive, right? Like this person should know that they can give just enough and they're doing it because they love the person, they care about the person, they want this to work out. And this person is going to take just enough that they need, but also give back, like it's equal. Because that's when, when we get in trouble, when one person's expected to give, so they give, 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 and then they build that resentment, and then they feel like you owe, 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 right? 
But really, it's like no one told you to fucking go save this person. Nobody told you to give, give, give in the first place. You give, give, give because you fucking want to, okay? So there's that energy here, Gemini, and maybe that's something that's been going on in your family or just within your own soul. Spirit wants you to know that you remove negative karma when you give back to those who are truly worthy because you are meant to give. You are meant to be a giving, kind, loving fucking creature, Gemini. You are meant to be out here being nice to people, helping people, holding the doors open for old ladies or some shit, okay? You are meant to be out here doing that, but you're not meant here meant to be holding the door open for a whole fucking herd of thought pockets. They're just going to go, thanks, asshole, right? <laughs> and giggle and run away. Like, give your energy to those who are truly worthy, okay? Be kind and be giving and be open and, and give trust and trust in those who are truly worthy of it. That's the message here. I think it's going to stay the message, too, because I don't think I'm going to pull anymore. Start clarifying some of this a little bit. Okay, let's, you know what, let's just get some additional messages for what Gemini needs to know. We have the Griffin coming out, honor and good luck. I feel like your chosen energy, that is the energy of a chosen one. You know, you, you're choosing to do the work, right? So then you're choosing yourself, making you chosen. I feel like you have some kind of honor or good luck or there's a shield of protection. For some reason, they're, they're giving me Zelda too. I don't watch, I do not play Zelda. I was about to say I don't watch Zelda. I don't think it's a movie, right? I think it's just a game. I don't, <laughs> I don't play Zelda, okay? Clearly. Um, but I don't know. There's something about the plight of Zelda or the plight of somebody in that game. I don't know. I don't want to sound ignorant because I really don't know nothing about it. But there is this energy of you are protected because you're on a mission here, the seer. You're following your intuition. You're delving deeper, right, into your ancestral roots. But more than that, you're, you're on a mission to do something. Maybe heal your ancestral roots. Give energy to that. Remove the negative karma, the negative energy attached to you, attached to your lineage by giving more to that uh, authentic part of yourself, okay? But honoring, there's something about somebody getting locks too or taking out their, this is a really touchy subject and it has nothing to do with me. I don't wear weave. <laughs> I don't wear a weave. I don't wear wigs. It's not that I wouldn't. I just don't have the time and patience. And honestly, you know, my hair is just as it is. It's whatever. So I don't feel the need to or that's not something that I was grown up um, in getting instilled in or anything like that. My daughter, she does like to wear the lace fronts, actually. And she can do her lashes and she can do all that stuff that I don't do. Um, but... There is this energy of somebody stopping doing that and again i don't want this is a touchy subject for some people and again has that has nothing to do with me <laughs> so i hate that i'm the messenger here but for some of you there could be this energy of wanting to stop with the weave or wanting to stop with the lace fronts wanting to stop with the synthetic and wanting to go more natural even if even if that doesn't apply for you maybe if even if going more natural is just letting free forming locks start to form or something because I'm, I'm pretty sure that most types I'm not again I don't want to start any problems here shots fucking fired in the comment section but I'm pretty sure that most hair after a while in certain conditions will start to form free forming locks there's something about that okay that's for somebody I don't know okay but there is this energy overall guys of you being some kind of spiritual warrior or being somebody here that has honor has good luck bestowed upon you like you are somebody who is protected and I don't know maybe that's why I was getting that energy of the um like the the golden shield or the golden protection or the golden cloak of energy that you have over you, Gemini. I don't know. I'm feeling that for somebody. They're also giving me King Arthur, Arthur's sword. So, I don't know. Take that as it resonates. I don't know who's watching me, but maybe swords or um, knights or something like that is very, like, like, you have the energy of a knight. I feel like, but you've been through this darkness, right? They're giving me the energy of like a good boy that has to go bad that's really good, but now he's like a good bad boy, which is even better, <laughs> right? But there's this energy of that here. I don't know who that's for. Anyway, let's move on because I feel like this reading ain't making no sense. And we were at 1441 when I looked at the time, so 1441. Okay, so the chalice, rejuvenation and fulfillment hindrance after a path has been blocked, Gemini. 
think you already know because I think you've already felt this or you're feeling this. Something was ripped away from you, a path was blocked, something didn't work out the way that you thought or the way that you wanted it to. Whatever it was, Gemini, it happened for a reason with this hindrance. Fate has blocked a path. Now, when I see fate and stuff in divination, obviously I think of spirit. So I feel like spirit has been protecting you on the sidelines, maybe causing certain things not to work out in your life. And where you feel like life is screwing you over and blocking you from your blessings, actually you're being blocked from disaster is kind of the energy that I'm getting. You can't see everything, but the spiritual being here, right, that's representing spirit, representing the fates, okay? with that crystal ball, they can. That that just to me is representing that they can see further than what you can. So just know you're being protected. It's kind of one of those times where you're just gonna have to trust the process and trust that you are being looked out for, right? You might not have the physical proof and it might look like it. In fact, the opposite is happening, but you're gonna have to have faith, right? You're gonna have to trust that, you know what? This has happened because it's protecting me. I don't know why, but it is. And all things are revealed in time. You might find out later in life why that that happened. When something else comes your way, when something else comes together, you might be like, oh shit, that's why I didn't have this because then I would never have been able to have this and this is better or this is more suited for me or this is what I've really wanted this whole time but I didn't know that I wanted, right? For some of you, that is the situation. Like you're being blocked from something because there's something better out there for you. And right now you don't see that, but you will when it comes along, okay? That's for some of you guys. Now with the hindrance, I feel like this whole situation, you remove negative karma when you give back to those who are truly worthy. It's like spirits showing you what's not fit for you, how you feel energetically afterwards. You get sick or you get lethargic or you feel, I was going to say moody, <laughs> hey, right? But you might feel a little moody or grumpy or whatever. Um, after you interact with this or after what you talk to this person or whatever, I feel like you're getting the spiritual signals, basically, where spirit's like, no, okay, you need to, with chalice, give to yourself, boo. Okay, let's get some additional messages. Additional messages, we're not going to really clarify so much as we are just going to get some more details about this whole situation, right, with Gemini. <laughs> We have the death energy, so this is Scorpio energy coming out, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and we have the three of cups. Some of you guys directly ended like a third party situation or something that was very low vibrational uh, with this three of cups. I don't know, for some reason I'm getting that with the death energy. I feel like you closed yourself off to these negative cycles and you really allowed yourself to open up to what's healthy. Maybe you did step into your intuitiveness with this king of cups here and you really chose to listen to where your heart was pulling you. That's for some of you guys. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe that's what you're needing to do. Close out these negative cycles and go where your heart is telling you to go. It's interesting too because I never noticed the shield. I feel like you got ancestors from beyond the grave with this death energy protecting you. Gemini, I feel like you got spiritual warriors that might even show up looking something like that. I don't know. There is something like that. There's some of you, this is going to sound far out, but whatever. Take it if it resonates. There's some of you that have seen some pretty scary stuff in your closet or under your bed or whatever, but it's actually there to help you. It's not there to hurt you. That's why it hasn't. It scared the shit out of you. But I feel like it has that reaction on a lot of people, right? Like, I feel like if your face looks like that, you'd probably be scary to anybody. But I get this energy of like, it is actually something that protects you or something that's there to help you. It's the form that your ancestor chooses to show up in or it's the form, I don't know, or it's something on your spiritual team. Because we got angels and elves and fairies and ancestors and all kinds of stuff on our spiritual team. Right, Gemini? I don't know. I'm just getting that energy for somebody. If you subscribe to that weirdness. If you don't, it's cool, brother. It's cool. Anyways, with the death energy and the three of cups, I do feel like there has been this end to like low vibrational stuff. Or for some of you, addictions, drinking, love being one of the main addictions here for somebody. I don't know. I feel like you're cutting loose, uh, loose ends though. That's what I'm getting. But I also feel like there is heavy protection coming from the other side, like heavy, heavy protection, which would make sense with this honor and good luck because you are, there is some kind of honor on you or there is some kind of like, I don't know, like you're just chosen and, and it's known, okay? Let's see what I need to know. 
All right, we have the judgment energy coming out. Double Scorpio energy. So Scorpio could be really significant for you. Gemini, you could have went through a situation with a Scorpio. You could have heavy Scorpio in your chart. Scorpio season could be significant. I don't know. There's just this energy here of Scorpionic energy, which is, of course, the things that are hidden, the things that are under the surface, right? And I feel like that might be things that you're, you've been working on. What's under the surface, right? Digging in deep within because that's where everything comes from, right? That's where all the manifestation comes from is within. So I'm getting that energy here that you've been in heavy reflection about something. There could be something too about somebody who's wanted to come back because we did see the three of cups, which is kind of a reconciliation card. Then we have death. Judgment is my reconciliation. Rec if I could fucking speak. I think my tongue's like, we're done now. <laughs> Actually, right? But anyways, there could be somebody about something about somebody wanting to come back that's just for some of you oh i lifted up this deck and the only card that stayed was the devil <laughs> i'm good though right this person could be coming in with a quickness i'm getting that energy for somebody yeah there is a karmic energy that is going to be coming back now not all capricorns are karmic right but there is that energy here of a karmic coming your way, Gemini, or something that maybe you had to reflect on and see the light of day that this is a karmic, right? Maybe you were just like in denial here. You're like, no, they just have problems. They just grew up in a shitty home. They just, you know, and it's like, mm. I'm probably gonna have an unpopular opinion here and, and this won't be the first nor last time. But sometimes when people, sometimes, not all the time, guys, please, put on our like spiritual thinking caps before I say this. Sometimes people who have shitty lives have earned that life from a past life. I'm just saying, you ever talk to somebody who they, they go on about all their problems and all the negativity and they just have like this negative energy within them and you're like, I can kind of guess why your life's so negative because you don't seem like you're a very nice person inside right? I feel like those people in particular, they're earning something from a past life. There could be something about that. Like maybe you really held on to somebody because you thought that they were just damaged. They were a wounded bird, right? They were somebody who just, they, they you know, they grew up in an abusive household or what uh, these bad things have happened to them. And that could all be true. Maybe they did grow up in an abusive household. Maybe a lot of bad things did happen to them. But I think you're starting to see that this person refuses to remove themselves. Okay, let's just take the whole fucking bullshit of blame of whose fault it is that this person had this fucked up life, Gemini. Let's just take all that out of the equation here, right? Because at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. It's about what you do with what's been given to you. Not with, you know, not about what staying with what's been given to you, right? Not being like, oh, well, I was born in the slums, so I'm just going to stay here, I guess, right? It's like you choose to dig yourself out. You're starting to see that somebody around you is not going to do that, okay? They're not going to do that. And you're like, it's time to end this cycle because I'm removing negative karma when I'm giving to those who are truly worthy, right? Oh, excuse me, right? Because I don't feel like this person is. That's the thing. I'm going to end this reading here soon because for some reason my voice is going, guys. It is pretty early and I have done a couple of readings, so. Knight of Pentacles, I feel like that's that energy of removing whatever blockages you've been feeling because I do feel like there has been something that's been going very slow for you, Gemini. Like, you've been almost seeing no progress at all. And I'm getting this energy of, yes, feeling very sad about this shit, too. Okay, so I feel like there is going to be progress. There is going to be some kind of burst of energy or... Um, motivation for life that's coming in here but it's going to be as soon as you drop whatever this is or as soon as you see something for what it is because sometimes that's all it, that's all it takes yeah sometimes that's all it takes Gemini is you stopping to see something for what it is that takes the power off of it puts the things but into like a better perspective for you where you can make better choices take better actions right that's the energy i'm getting here with this emperor like you're really standing in your authenticity here and you're really standing in your power and you're taking your power back you're manifesting and you're seeing that there's like this realization of that now for some of you or this person you needing to cut this other energy go 
I'm not saying you're cutting this energy off for another energy, but there will happen to be another energy that's present after you cut this energy off. Somebody who's strong, somebody who's wise, somebody who really is the emperor, okay? This is not this is not a fucking drill, okay? This is not the, the emperor showing up or the page showing up in the emperor's clothes or whatever, okay? This is actually the emperor that you're manifesting in, male or female, okay? This could be just a boss ass uh, lady here, all right? But whoever this energy, whatever this energy is, it's the energy of somebody who's sturdy and stable after the struggles, okay? I don't know, Gemini. I hope that makes sense. Make it make sense, okay? I hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.